What's going on, everybody? So, Louisville Sports Card Show that uh, the J and J All Star was set up at today. Again, I don't video all my deals and stuff like that. I just don't like doing it. I don't know. Call me old. I just don't like doing it. I mean, it's kind of cool at the end. You, I guess I could take pictures or something of it all. But I only sold. Let me think here. Five cards inside my case, or six, one of the two. Um, but what was weird was the 50 cent value boxes I keep filling up. I made more on those than I did the cards in the cases. Now, granted, a lot of people were interested in the cards in the cases, but they wanted them at, like, stupid low, ridiculous prices. Again, we're still in that error. Everybody wants to come to you and offer you way low money on stuff. And it's one thing if you're going back and forth between, you know, somebody wants to buy off me cheap, they let me buy off them cheap stuff I can move, vice versa. That's one thing. But everybody else, you know, hey, last sale was 240 will you take 180 No, I will not, you know. It, it's just it, repetitive over and over and over again. There were a few cards I was looking at buying, tried to do towards the end of the show, one deal. Just couldn't come there in numbers. Um, even though I was willing to pay, you know, full value on to Nolan Ryan's, I just couldn't come down anymore, or go up and pay full value on pretty much every card I wanted. I mean, it's just stuff you'll see like that there. A lot of times your deals will just fall through out there. It's nothing against you or the person you're working to deal with. It's just that... You know, things just do not happen. I did make one deal. Um, there is no video from the show, guys. I totally blanked and thought I, I brought the wrong stupid battery for my camera. <laughs> um, I thought I charged them both last night. And so I just grabbed one thing. And, oh, I'm not going to need the other one. Yeah. But do apologize on that part there. So I did pick up three cars at the end. Um, me this guy, we do... Good bit of deals, I'd say, throughout the year through the shows. Um, first up, Flawless Justin Jefferson, 8 out of 25. Pretty cool. Last sale was 335, I believe, on that. A little bit of hockey. Matty Beneers, Rookie of the Year. We did find a sale on this. It was in Canadian, though. We had a transfer it over. Canadian was like 330. 28 on to it, I believe. And for some reason, it's weird. Um, Terra Peak's not picking up some of the stuff that's being sold again, so I don't know if it's a glitch in their system or what. And the only reason I tested it was stuff that I know I personally sold on eBay. It was paid for, it's been shipped, delivered, all that stuff. It wasn't appearing on it. But I guess you'll have that eventually. And the last card, this is already gone, Joey CBC. Of course, he's a big Trevor Lawrence guy. 2 of 10. Trevor Lawrence. Flawless diamond. Still sealed. All the fun stuff onto it. But pretty cool. Pretty cool um, stuff that I was able to pick up at the end. I figured I'd share that with just uh, the show itself. Um, vendors, of course, they were plenty of them there. I did walk around a little bit in the beginning and towards the end. There just wasn't a whole lot that was like, ooh, ah. And if it wasn't for this last deal, probably wouldn't picked up anything at all. It's just, you know, a lot of times I don't have time to go through a lot of the better showcases because they're just stacked through. And then by the time I go into the show, a lot of stuff's picked through that I would probably would have wanted to begin with. It's usually one of the disadvantages of setting up. You don't get to really get that quick bird's eye view of what's on the floor, what you want to hurry up, go buy, stuff like that there. Before everybody else comes in and, you know, pretty much at the end it's like slim pickings type deal. But overall, buying, like I said, it was definitely different. Every show I go to is always going to be different what I expect and everything on to it. We'll just say that if I sold 600 off of my one showcase, I've only been doing one showcase now since I have all the value boxes. When the value boxes outsell the display, I'm just like, wow, insane. And that's now happened twice over the past four shows. 
each have been in a different location too. So, I don't know. I can't complain, like I said. Um, overall, did very good. Picked up some cards. Uh, one already moved. I figured he wanted it to begin with. And then the other two will probably be moved. Well, at least one tonight. Hockey's kind of hard to move unless you find that right thing. But I wanted to get some more hockey in prior to heading up to the Midwest Monster here in June. So I got, I got more stuff coming in. Um, as I stated in the other video I recorded before this, a little bit of a hockey mail. I don't know how the videos are going to come out back and forth. But, yeah, definitely picking up some uh, better hockey here, newer stuff. I'm starting to enjoy it again. Uh, just a lot of the other sports just so pricey. <laughs> I mean, I got the Bedard boxes a little bit crazy right now. But at least overall through the years, Upper Deck has not been that expensive. I mean, maybe a little bit during McDavid's year, but it wasn't outrageous because that was back, what, 15, 16? But overall, like I said, really good show he puts on out there. He even had a food truck come out there. That was really cool. i seen a lot of people going out and getting food during lunchtime. Um, guys behind me got pizza, offered me some pizza. I didn't take anything just because I didn't want to have to eat. And I'm not one of them people don't like using the public restroom, you know, uh, <laughs> to, to a point. But, yeah, I, I can't really complain. I got to pick up some stuff. I moved some inventory that uh, I pick up from other places that I don't want to rotate that inventory with the same group of people because it just sits out there type deal. But yeah, definitely, definitely some good stuff um, today, at least with moving a lot of the uh, value box stuff because then I get to, you know, pick up some nicer cards in the long run. But all right, guys, that is it for this video. Again, I do apologize. I really thought I had both batteries charged and I grabbed the dead battery. I came home, even checked the other battery, threw it in my camera, and the camera worked. I was like, maybe I broke the camera. That would have really sucked. But no, no. Somehow the one battery just did not charge and I grabbed the wrong battery head now. I should have grabbed both of them. Bad PCCs and PCIs on my behalf. But other than that, guys, I do appreciate it as always. Take care of a good one. I'm out.